Okay, uh, this is the second video of uh, using Illustrator, uh, part two. It would be good if you can watch part one, first of all, because it shows the basics using the black and the white arrow key. Uh, and this time I'm going to be just rotating a shape, and rotating an object. Uh, so first of all, we need to create a triangle. So you do that by clicking on the star tool as before, double clicking and having a point. So there is my triangle, and I can rotate that by using, again, the black arrow key. Um, what we're going to be doing is, if I can make it slightly transparent so there's an overlap, if you look on the tools here, you'll see that there's these and there's the uh, opacity tool. So I want to bring that down so it's slightly transparent. If I then go to the rotate tool, which is under here on my tools, if ever you can't find the tools, then you can just click on these and go to default on your window. And you can see that they are there. So you go to the rotate tool and you work out where you want your center to go. So if you can then press Alt, uh, and then you can then rotate, and you can then rotate your object. So you click on the button and you work out where your angle is. So the angle I'm going to be doing is maybe around about 10 degrees. And you can see your preview of where that object is going to go on your preview screen. And you would then just press copy. Okay, so that's where your second one will go. So that's to rotate. And then if you do Command D, you'll see that you can then rotate your shape. And where the overlap happens, is where it'll slightly go darker or lighter. Now you could do this with any object as well. So I could use a square or a circle to rotate, or you could create your own using the pen tool. So if I was going to make a kind of I don't know, a diamond type shape, and I wanted to color that in a different color, maybe a darker color, and I put that within there over the top. And again, I can bring, bring that down into transparency, maybe make it a little bit smaller. And then again, I'd rotate, find out where my center is, press Alt where I want that to happen. And I'll make that maybe 15 degrees instead. And I can preview where that is going to be. And I can copy. And again, press Command D and rotate. And that would then, you can create different objects. So just have a play around in creating different objects and different rotations. And that's the end of tutorial two.